Yo 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 Welcome to another episode of the Cheat Coders Podcast. My name is Raph. This is episode number 174. 174. And I am here with my usual suspects of Don Doing Stuff. What's doing? And all the way to my left is Beige Hat himself, Christian Garcia. <laughs> Zip, zap, zooey. Hey. <laughs> and all the way in London town, getting it down Damn, with the twins right so now. Bad. And still so brown Ooh. is Nats yeah, Blazing. Nats what blazing. up, fam? Hey. Yep. What up, bro? And this is another episode where we're going to be in the heat i want summer to go away because like i just want winter to come here because i want to wear cool jackets again bro <laughs> same man i love, I'm, a I love winter clothing, guy, I'm such a winter guy bro i yeah. love the cold yeah. i love how i like the crisp you feel clean all mm-hmm. the time that's it i, I love mean, i love being fashionable bro i don't like this is me in the summer shorts and this and like shirt i have you know? i have to admit I, I do like summer i just don't like <laughs> the humidity yeah man. When, it, when it's like when it's hot and wet, uh, I feel like I'm in a sauna yeah, with like the, you're you the guys guy right now. Red, you know? You're the slo- sleeves and red shorts guy. So hey. like, <laughs> that's got your, red that's shoes your, as well, uh, bro. Yeah, red, red's my favorite color. I didn't, Is it? Yeah, red's my oh, favorite shit. color. Red that's undies. Oh, I didn't shit. know that. And I like to start off this episode by asking you guys, how are you guys feeling mentally? Because I want to always give a mental check to my friends, mm. you know? Like, you're a nice guy, Raf. I want to be that nice no, friend. No. <laughs> that nice, you know, nice guy. Yeah, you're a nice, nice guy. guy bro. Remember, remember no. how we use that term, like, nice guy as an insult to people? Like, oh, that guy's a nice yeah. guy. <laughs> but, like, really, how are you guys feeling mentally? All right, man. Um, just the huge for me, I suppose. Had a bit of a quick week because we had public holiday on Wednesday. Yeah. Hey. It feels like a short, you know, week's gone quicker. Yeah. But um, other than that, like, it, yeah, just excited for what's coming up, you know, mm-hmm. following weeks. Hey, something big's coming up. There's a mm-hmm. few things. There's a few things. We're going to be launching a lot of stuff mm. to the Cheat Coders oh, fans. Tell us so about dope. it. Tell them about it. Tell the about umbrella it. of the big launch is our website. We finally got a website, yeah, guys. It. But hey. we've, had, we've had the website. I know, but, but, but this, this is an actual website where revamp. we actually we're a revamp, a rebrand, because mm. rebrand is the brand. We have a website. Yeah, so it is still the cheat coders. Coders. Dot com. So when you go there, you're going to have <laughs> everything still. from the cheat coder stash. Yeah. You're going to have links to our Discord. Discord. Mm. All the links from our audio listening, audio podcast yeah. to our video podcast. But the two mm-hmm. special things that I want to talk about that is new. We're going to start off with our Patreon. Ooh. 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 All right. So Ooh. What, what's in the Patreon? What's that about? What is that? The Patreon is <laughs> where you could subscribe to us. If you want to follow and support us, you can subscribe to mm. the minimum of $5 a month mm-hmm. and you'll get extra content from us. Nice. So not only you'll wow. be supporting um. us as podcasters, you'll also get one free, not free, one event. <laughs> That you can access to mm. that is a theme event and that mm-hmm. is like is different than what we have on our free episodes yeah. that we have on the podcast weekly so it's extra content and i think what we're planning to do is as well some of the more raunchy or like uh not raunchy but uncensored, the one, the uncensored unfiltered. stuff yeah, will bro. be on our patreon yep so all the po- every, every time you like we would have a thing called edit point those things will be no longer used. <laughs> no more it's edit points. No more uncensored, unfiltered. It's a, it's, a, it's a layer of the onion. If you want peeled, and you're gonna you're gonna see everything the, yeah. the beautiful side and the darker side. Hey, Amen. If you want to hear us trying to get yeah. cancelled, that's our Patreon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's it, bro. And also, we have our uh, our themed events. So the first one is our. It's gonna be free mm. on the Patreon, just so you can have a little sneak peek little of what taste. to expect. Yeah, and that is going to be our mukbang event. So, in celebration yep. of Filipino foods being ten plus years, uh, we're nice. going to do a mukbang where we're going to eat Filipino foods from the local area, and we're going to talk about it, especially yeah. and also, also the parody that these two motherfuckers did. That's <laughs> 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 right, eleven years ago now. Hey, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I want to rewatch it. Yeah, we're going to rewatch it. We're going to like do a reaction to it Mm -hmm. while we eat our food. And it'll be a live stream as well. So you can interact with us as well. So this is happening as soon as this drops. If like this will be happening on the 1st of February Mm. at nighttime, (laughs) Sydney time. Just going to just to make sure that you guys know it's going to be Sydney time. Which is Australian Eastern Standard Time. And um, yeah, man. So that's going to be happening every single month. A different event, different theme is going to happen every single month. And on the weekly podcast, we'll be, we'll be promoting it and 
hopefully uh, you'll support us because mm. without you there is no us so yeah. the patreon is there for extra support <laughs> and just you know it just came to my head like you just announced when we're gonna do the mukbang but by the time this episode comes out, the mukbang's already been done. Yes. <laughs> so, in, in case, maybe if we, you've we got a time machine, it. go back to the Tuesday. Actually, if you're listening to this on the day that this is released, it's happening tonight in a couple of hours. It's already <laughs> hours. But it's going to be there. Mm. You don't have to t- attend the live stream. It'll be there on the Patreon just yeah. for you to check out for free. But we, sh- we should plug it, like, maybe Definitely. today and tomorrow as well. Yeah. Where, where, where are today. we going to stream? Is it's it gonna it'll be on the Patreon. So they have okay. to go on the Patreon, and it'll be posted as a live stream. They have to go there. Cool. So. Yeah. Shout out to all the people that have listened to us and have followed us hey. and have supported us so far. We've done this, like, you know, for, for how many years? And um, this has been a passion project for us, uh, for, for the most part. But um, we want to continue doing this, and the Patreon is one way for us to do that. Um, hey. So if you want to if you want to support us and... Uh, allow us to continue to make uh, really great content and great uh, content that you relate to. Uh, please support us on on Patreon. And just it, just to add, just to add to that, yeah. if, I, if I may, like you know, we've been doing this for the love of it as well. Yeah. It's not like we're like we're not saying we're not <coughs> forcing people to to think. Of. It's more like if you guys want to, and um, basically, if you like what we're doing now, imagine what we could do with the budget. Because you know it's only up from here, man. That's you know, a good we, point. We want to. We want to like you know. No matter what, like our, our, our thing from the beginning was, we're gonna keep doing this as long as it's fun. Mm. And because we've stuck by that, it's always remained fun. It's always been natural, and I think that's what makes this show beautiful. Yeah. So you know, and we want to build a community. Saying. So build. Well, let's build yeah. a community through our Patreon. You can join our Discord. Like, any the Discord is free, but if you are a Patreon member, you're gonna have access to VIP. VIP yeah. channels. Cheat coded that's, channels. That, that's another good point, man. Yeah, exactly. The Discord's already quite, uh, what's it called? Um, Interactive. Very, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like, it, join it now for the fact, like the fact we, we talk, they're all four of us, you mm. know, we talk to, we've got a really cool, 100 strong community all over the world. And I love actually going in there. It feels like home. On, online as well mm. but there's going to be a special channel there for the Patreon people hey, as well you guys, you guys like going to be part of these combos that we get in Love it. Discord yeah especially Dude, with the, so cool. um, the images that was created for you Nats yeah man yeah Jumo well he's he's a local guy he's he's in your oh, really? area man yeah, shout out oh, to, to the man yeah. oh he's nice Madrid, so. he makes all these like he did the the uh, Utang um, Utang clan parody right. logo <laughs> you can only he's see sick, that on man. the Discord for sure yeah. And then, yeah, like, you gotta be. In and the other thing that we're gonna have on our website is a release of our first range of merch, merchandise. So our official merch that'll be um, be launching launching on the website, and being created by Signboy Co. Shoutouts to you. Um, we'll be on to on our on our website. There's gonna be three shirts available. I'm wearing the classic T-shirt. Classic T. This has been two years old, and it's still good quality. Mm. So the quality is bar none, and it's gonna be like top of the line so we want you guys to have a look choose a couple of shirts i'm gonna get all of them of course and if you want to wear the podcast and represent it wearing the merch is probably one of the ways to do it 100 and also you can also go to represent to check out our other merch that we have there as well so the global stuff the global stuff we need need somewhere (laughs) and also like even our range is the global we're gonna send it to you no matter what so Mm. don't think that we're um, leaving people out whether if you're from another country and not from Australia we're gonna send that stuff to you for sure we wanna support as much for the ones that are local most likely we're the ones that's going to be dropping the more yeah, we'll drive anyway. to your yeah, place so actually yeah, yeah, get to little see you spe- man little extra special <laughs> yeah, that's it you guys got, got to see the delivery service yeah. oh dude <laughs> to our fi- our, our unless fo- you're an ex-girlfriend or something I'm just going to get Garcia to I'll do get it. done to that I'll pass it to your ex-girlfriend I'll drive it to your ex-girlfriend and then you drive it to my ex-girlfriend that's just we'll swap I was going to say like meet a big chief after debrief debrief why wouldn't ex-girlfriends want to buy our merch you never know. There could be supporters on the podcast without even knowing, and like it's, it's crazy to me. Uh, but yeah, uh, our followers would know that you know we we tried to do we trialed uh, some merch with represent dot com. Um, so if you want to if you want to uh, get some of those, then um you know you can get that from there. But we will be launching some some official merchandise, um, which like is going to be yeah directly through us. Right, yeah. Through us. That's going to be created in collaboration with Signboy Co. Um, 
Yeah. And that's going to be launching as well as a Patreon. So a lot is happening this week mm-hmm. alone. Mm. So big things are happening nice. for us as a podcast, but also big things are happening personally, especially with me, because there's, I just made an announcement last week that- What did you announce, right? Hey. What did you announce? Ooh. Tell us. My wife and I are expecting- Ooh. What are you expecting? <laughs> What's expecting? What are we expecting? <laughs> a baby <laughs> in June. <laughs> hey. I can't put in any jokes in that. So June 2022 is the date that we're expecting to have our first child. Wow, man. Wow. Our first kid. Congratulations, brother. Yeah, man. And big things are man. happening. Therefore, it's it's no coincidence the Patreon is out there because you need to feed a family, right? So <laughs> 100%. if you want to help me feed my feed my baby, please. <laughs> wow. <laughs> fucking guilt Donate <laughs> us. Donate yeah. to the Patreon. All it is is a minimum of $5 a month. <laughs> you can support real, Rap's child <laughs> if, we, if we get enough support I might be able to afford To have a kid myself <laughs> yeah. So, yeah we need, need, a, we need enough So Don and Garcia Can have yeah. a child too We only have a budget For one right Separately now Separately though Not together <laughs> 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 I've been waiting for. Her. Her. I've been waiting to <laughs> announce this man Because like the, the, the content now The whole the whole dad dad code is is, is a real thing now. Not only, so Nats, dad dad coders. not only Nats is gonna be me as well, experiencing all this stuff and I love it, bro. and I'm I'm pretty sure it. a lot of listeners out there are experiencing the same thing, like the pregnancy of of the first child, the journey mm-hmm. of like becoming a parent, because like absolutely, bro. Ever since like before last year, all I know I knew is like me and my wife, mm. and now. We have a family and stuff. We're gonna go through all that, that Filipino trauma, the Filipino, <laughs> That's the, all question, that stuff, dude. but as in reverse because we're yeah. gonna be the parents now. Yeah, but like with yeah. so like a lot of people know already. So your your wife, she's um, from Fijian. an Indian family, oh, yeah, Indian, Fijian. Fijian. Fijian Indian. Indian. So First. like things are you know when when you're raising the baby and stuff like yeah. certain cultures is there things that you more like lean towards like well uh, we're gonna we're gonna tr- yeah we're like gonna which, try, um, which trauma are you gonna take them through <laughs> first we're gonna take <laughs> them through both <laughs> <laughs> now nah, but for real Double. we're just gonna we're, we're gonna do it uh, we're not calling it the new age way but we're gonna do both ways of hindu and also catholic right okay. like just nice. and then and then we're gonna teach them both cultures yeah because they, you know it's two cultures mm-hmm. we want to teach yeah. them uh, different the different cultures and um, Educate, in respect to right? our families yeah. as well as in mm. respect of our culture, it's gonna be a really worldly kid. Yeah, yeah. So, like, when obviously, like, when you're teaching the kids how to speak, it's probably getting ahead of it. But do you reckon you'd be teaching your baby Tagalog or? Yeah. Well, we're gonna eventually. It's gonna because like there's two sides of the family, and of course they're gonna call my parents Lola and Lolo, mm-hmm. and on the other side they're gonna call in the Hindu way as well. So so each it's kinda like names in the in a sense type of way. Like mm-hmm. each person will have kinda like their own label. Right. And I think it's pretty cool like that because like if it was both Filipinos, then there'll be Lola and Lola and both ends. So it kinda gets a bit yeah. confusing. But uh-huh. I think this kind of branches out the thing like of um labels of yeah. each each of the families. It's very specific. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, I think cool. that'll be easier that way. But teaching both languages um, I am not as fluent as um, Shivi. I am not, I'm not as fluent in Tagalog that as Shivi is in hin- Hindi. Right. So Shivi is super fluent in Hindi. Yeah. Um, nice. I think oh, she'll nice. be able to teach our, our baby to do Hindi, but I'm going to learn Tagalog. I know. Yes. I know. I know Tagalog fully, as in terms of listening. You can understand mm-hmm. it. But right. I'll yeah. be able to because I want to help incorporate Tagalog as well in. In the, good, um, the thing, so yeah. the kid's gonna be saying tapos na. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. The first time my my baby's gonna say tapos na, I'll be I'll, I'll probably cry, bro. I'll be crying into the table and using the tears to wash his wash their bum. <laughs> you know, like it's gonna be one of those things. I'm a big crier, man. Daddy, I'm letting you know up. now. I, if we're gonna be, if we're being transparent That's on nice. this podcast, every single significant turn in my life. Whether it be like negative or positive, I've cried. Yeah. Like I could think about it, like I proposed to my wife crying. 
I watched her walk You're down the aisle crying like a little bitch. And what um, a every, deal. and when, when and when Shiv, at least you cry at appropriate times though. That's good. Oh yeah, yeah. And when Shiv told me that we're having a, like having a baby, I full cried then as well. Like I'm a, I'm a crier, bro. I'm a not I'm not ashamed to say it. Like, um, I cry, bro. Like I have to let it, let it out. Yeah, you know. I you know what I I have my moments kind of like it's that time of the month again. Watching like soldiers return home to their kids and shit, bro. I'll be in you know it'll be in the middle of the night watching these videos. Be like. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> the one thing I try to hide my tears from is movies. When, Shiv, when Shiv doesn't know it, but like I cry inside. Like no, no, when I'm not doing shit because like Shiv's a crier when it comes to movies, but I try to hold the strength. Right. And I am <laughs> just sitting there like this, like with deadpan. Freedom writers, but or some in, shit, in, right? yeah, yeah. Inside, <laughs> I am dying. So like yeah. crying. So was it was it um, in Up? The beginning of Up. Beginning was of it? Up. Toy Story three when they're about to die in the little in thing the furnace. in the furnace. Yeah, they bro, hit you. I was crying, bro. Was okay, what was the last movie that you that pulled on heartstrings for you? Actually, it was Toy Story three, but um, the rest of the times so I had to hold the strength because like I don't want to be <laughs> hold the strength. I don't want to be crying in front of my wife like that in front of like say you know in Spider Man or something like that. And when Aunt yeah. May dies, oh. oh, spoilers alert to those people who haven't seen if it. If you haven't seen it already, oh, like honestly. <laughs> Come on, Don. Come on, man. <laughs> Sorry. Spoilers. If you haven't seen it already. <laughs> that's only saw it last week, too. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. <laughs> I don't, <that's> <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. You should see it, man. Keep <laughs> up to date, guys. Keep up to date. But, like, yeah, Get so. With the program. <laughs> yeah, that's the last movie I've cried, like, f- uh, not fully, as in, like, tears were at least there. Hmm. Yeah, Toy Story 3 when I was in the movies. Oofed. I was like, lucky this in the lights movies are out. Too, yeah, in the movies, bro. too, bro. I was looking up. I was like, uh, uh, This is why I go to drive throughs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Privacy. So you can sit there going, <laughs> Yeah, man. I'm going to bring some paper towels. <laughs> uh, I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> Speaking of crying when we're watching shit, so this is a typical thing, like with mums watching like the Tillis area. Yeah. And it's always like every episode. Like she's in tears and shit, right? Oh, because every episode they're crying or yelling at each other, bro. Yeah, exactly. So dramatic. So there's either um, someone's hurt and someone's tears, angry yeah. at someone. Mm. So it's always like, um, like my, my dad used to go to my mom, like, why do you even like pay for this shit when you're gonna be feeling like shit afterwards? Like, mm-hmm. you know, it's every time like you have to have like a box of tissues or something. Oh man. But. Um, but I, I know bitch. Like, oh, I watched Toy Story 3. I was dry as a desert. <laughs> I was <laughs> dry <laughs> as a desert. I was like, fucking get in the furnace. I don't give a fuck. I don't no, give a kidding. fuck about you and your <laughs> lives. You fucking toys. You're just toys. You know, the, the, there was a movie that I um that I watched. It was The Muppets Christmas Carol. Yeah. What a little bitch. And you, and you <laughs> cried? <laughs> the Muppets Christmas Carol. But uh, there's a specific mean. moment. There's a specific moment. There's uh, the moment where I think it was the Ghost of Future... Ghost of Future Past, I can't remember what it was called, but uh, he shows the future, he shows Scrooge, Scrooge uh, the future, and there's Kermit's family and little Timmy. The little boy. His son, passes. like the one the, the one who's uh, disabled and crippled. Yeah. They 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 pan to the like the table, and th- there's, there's just an empty seat, mm-hmm. and the pair of crutches next to it, and they're like, where's Timmy? And there's silence. But I bawled my yeah. eyes out. I was like, Oh That's my like, god! Oh, he didn't make it, little Timmy. Oh my goodness! Oh, <laughs> I still got, I got goosebumps <laughs> thinking about it right now, man. Like That's, poor little that's kind of cute. Oh, little bitch! Yeah, what, <laughs> what a! <laughs> I, be, I have really I'm delayed reaction. <laughs> I have delayed reactions to crying. Yeah. So I'm the opposite. Like you know the the significant moments that you say, Raf, as yeah. well. I'd never do because I'm always sort of like thinking a million other things when they're happening <laughs> but then like maybe some like with, with even with my kids like only recently actually when i was completely alone with them is when i like grabbed the situation i was like oh whoa kind of thing yeah and that's that's with me like yeah i'll, I'll get sad with like movies and stuff like that but i'll never really cry but it's always at a weird time and then out of nowhere i'll just be like, like it could be just three days later and i'll just think of something back before and just start crying. <laughs> it's like, what the <laughs> fuck? Where'd that come from? <laughs> it's okay to cry. <laughs> Three days it's later. It's okay to cry. Don't don't yeah, think yeah. that you can't cry. You, yeah. you need some time to yourself to cry. Let it out. There was, there was like, there was one that wasn't uh, sad. There was a movie 
there's a scene from uh, a movie called Facing the Giants. Yeah. And there's a coach who's like trying to encourage his team and the team captain to like get his head in the game. Cause he's like, we're not going to win anyway. And he's like, come over here. I, I want you to carry this dude on your back and bear crawl across the, like the football field. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I can't do it. Like, you know, he's like, I could do it like for 20 yards. And he makes him blindfolded crawl, crawl across the entire football field. And he's oh, like, he's yes, like, he's yeah, like, yeah. I can't do it, coach. I can't do it. Can't do it. And he's like, yes, you can. You're very best. And he's just yelling at him, like, do your very best. You can do it. And he's like, you just, you just crawled. You're in the end zone. And at the end of it, I was like, oh my god. Yeah. When he took, the, when he took out, his man. blindfold, I didn't realize he's already done it. Yeah, yeah. Like this motivational stuff, and I'm like, Wah! yeah. See, this what what <laughs> this kind of tells me that Don likes to get yelled at a lot. Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> he does. This in the past as well. <laughs> Do something that scares you every so day cool. so i need someone to <laughs> yell at me to get shit going <laughs> have you guys ever cried at anything and felt like why the hell am i like it, it just it actually seems really stupid but you don't know why you care about it so much because um, i'll tell you now like this is like i don't know if this, this is inappropriate well it's not really appropriate but like when when eminem dropped an album and um <laughs> there was hope that it was going to be like a little bit good. Like there was a track. I can't remember which album I, I, I cried from that. I was like, Oh, yeah. but then I'm looking, I'm like, why, why am I crying over this? <laughs> it's so bad. I'm listening to these lyrics like, Oh yeah. He's got lyrics again. <laughs> it's, like, it's lyrical. <laughs> oh yeah. It's lyrical. <laughs> like, He's back. He's back. <laughs> then it was shit later on. <laughs> oh man. No nah, man, I never cried I like know. that before. <laughs> Some nuts. Okay, yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like, I cry over stupid shit, <laughs> but I won't cry over like stuff that I should cry about. It's dumb. Oh man, I can't. I can't remember the last movie I cried in. I, Me neither. It's not like it's uncommon, but it's most likely um, a movie just like watching at home, mm. and, you know, just like in the comfort of your own room, where I fucking let it out, dude. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. I got the box of tissues like my mum watching Teleseria, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man. But it's usually, you know what, like, this is weird. I'm not, I don't have a baby on the way or, um, you know, like, I don't have any kids, I think. But um, <laughs> it's usually of- like the the <laughs> parent thing that gets me, man. You know, things yeah. like, you know, you remember Big Daddy with um, with Adam Sandler? Yeah. At the end of that, shit like that, you know? That's yeah. when... So, Big Daddy is one of the movies that I did. Kind of like, I start weeping and shit. Mm. But that's not the last one. But scenes like that where the little kid's like yeah. reaching out yeah, for the Yeah, you're going to cry like shit, a little bro. bitch when you Fuck have a kid, bro. Hell, man. You will. You will. Mm. I, can sen- I can see you right now. Like, Daddy Garcia, bro, is going to cry like Daddy a little Garcia. bitch. <laughs> I you know, like real talk though. I really am. I'm looking forward to being a dad. I just, I don't know. It's like uh, I don't have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> I don't know if you hear that, that name? You know? Just Drake it, bro. But Drake yeah. it. Before you become a dad, we need to continue this like segment that we have weekly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So let's get into it. Let's change things up. All We're right, all cool, wholesome. Cool, cool, cool. When he becomes a dad, it'll be a wild. We're dad. all so wholesome. We'll, we'll, keep, a, we'll keep it wholesome. We'll, I'm gonna skip the dick jokes this week. So what's wow. the wild thought of the week? So I was thinking the other day, it's like I, I was at Woolies and you know when you check out, it's all self-service now, right? Mm. And um, the whole self-service thing has become like a theme. Um, for the last few years, even like when you get K barbecue, it's like you doing that shit. And it feels yeah. like, like oh, I'm a chef. I'm cooking. I'm cooking this myself. Or even like little kids with the checkout shit. Like you, you got toys of like a... a a little cash register so it's like mm. it's playing on that nostalgia of like you know being a kid that wanted to be a grown up and now you can actually do it yourself and um like being like the very first job that i can remember doing was pulling the white hairs of my lolas you know <laughs> and you, you 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 know they might give you five cents a hair or whatever and um that was good money when you were a kid man yeah exactly well the, like just the feeling of <laughs> okay i'm i'm making commission out of every hair but um i wanted to offer that to people to be able to feel that shit again and because i'm starting to grow white hairs mm. i'm gonna nice. start a business of having letting people come to me and then they can pull my white hairs but then they gotta pay me five cents per white hair <laughs> so that can play on the nostalgia thing like sometimes yeah. like so when so um that's the value you're giving is the this nostalgia yeah being able to pull and out it's you know hands. how prostitutes they might have things like um 
like the girlfriend experience or whatever. That's like a very, a very common thing. <laughs> the, my one's going to be the zaddy experience. <laughs> so there's a few different options. There's going to be the dad that, you know, if you had a bad experience with the dad and they're always yelling at you, I can yell at you and this is like a punishment. If you know, like, oh, you have to fuck pull my wires because you've been out all night. So, like, shit like that. Or um, uh, I could be the uh, the the dad jokes kind of, you know what I mean? Like the like the lame dad jokes. It's really depending on what your experience was, like what you want from <laughs> from this experience. So I just want to hit on the nostalgia for you because I think that's like a big thing, right? You you know, you, you start remembering shit of like from your childhood, and that's, it's an experience that you. It's like, it's like pulling on heartstrings again and core memories. Like, yeah. oh, I remember. You're trying to make money of people's traumas. You crazy, gonna, bro. bro. <laughs> gonna be, it could be therapy are you, for are you. you gonna provide, are you going to provide the rice cooker and the rice that's not being cooked <laughs> as well? Like, and the, the the meat in the freezer? The chicken not, the, the, not been just defrosted. This, so that's the first part, the hair pulling thing. I'm going to branch <laughs> off. Depending on how the business goes, um, you can clean my ears and then I'll lay on your lap. <laughs> so shit like that, you know, it's very, yeah. Uh, again, Bro. it's like that. that uh, I just thought of the, like, like nostalgia. Oh, the Filipino, uh, like, S and M type of vibe. Like, <laughs> instead of, like, the whole leather thing, you get, like, fucking, like, Janelas and the Wallace, <laughs> the Wallace yeah. thing thing. Oh, no. Imagine that, imagine I'm that was a kink, bro. <laughs> like, like because oh. you know, like you, kinks can come from your childhood type of thing oh, as you get older. <laughs> and now, now, that's what I was. Th- oh, yeah. And now you can Sorry. get turned on when you get hit by chinos. So it's, yeah, it's n- instead of um, what's it called? Instead of like the the, the leather, the latex and stuff, it's a barong. It's barong tagalog. <laughs> I don't think it's <laughs> how is that more like, like it's a rubber, but it's still see through somehow. Yeah, still <laughs> All we need is the mixture. <laughs> the only thing about barongs yeah. that we need is see through. Please, like, <laughs> yo, maybe maybe it's a black leather barong, a black and a black leather, leather slipper, barong. and a black leather slipper. Oh, man. <laughs> Baluna. It's like the sound of the Wallace ting ting, like on the concrete. Just <laughs> that sound, that sweeping sound it makes. Ooh. <laughs> Hairs on the back of my neck. <laughs> I I um, I'm kind of scared to find out if I have these kinks. Eh? <laughs> like so, like I've, I think I've mentioned this in the past. Like my grandma, when I used to be um, disciplined, I used to have to kneel on mung beans, and mm. I'd have to hold oh, up shit. like my textbooks, like school books, up like that, like a cross type. That's shit. why your shoulder muscles are mm. so, so big. Like I've never done That's it since I was school. a kid, but imagine like. I don't want to imagine myself doing that now and then getting hard on. And you never asking know, so, Like, see, I don't want to know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. Know, you know, you know when they say you never, never know if you never, never go. Yeah, I never want to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's one you don't want. Just to in case. <laughs> oh man! As imagine a, like going to a Haviana store and then you just like every time you see it, you just. <laughs> <get home. laughs> It's like it's like going into a sex toy store, bro. It was like, Ooh, Jesus, damn. they got diamonds on them now. They got size twelves. <laughs> Look at this one with the metal logo. It's Ooh. all black and veiny size twelves, oh bro. God. Oh no. <laughs> BBC's big black chinelas. I remember. <laughs> I remember going to the fields and like <laughs> size ten Ooh, and up. Give me those size twelves, please. <laughs> I want to get Paulo by size twelve. Ooh, <laughs> that Brazilian it's leather. In the, in the, um, it's so vain. In the in the Philippines, like at the, in the markets, like at Green Hills or something, because mm. that'd be like the the um the knockoff Havianas. Right in the store, they had this giant one. <laughs> yeah, they were like, See? Ooh. Ooh. A- <laughs> want that on my ass right now. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> let, me, let me blindfold myself. <laughs> Get the full experience. Oh no, fuck no. <laughs> so yeah, if uh, you want to pull some white hairs, <laughs> just uh, hit me up. And it's also not too late to hit me up before. Um, uh, Valentine's is coming up, so if you need a fake boyfriend for your family parties, mm. just DM <laughs> nice. me. Single and ready to mingle, Garcia. Got a few slots left, so uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the zaddy experience. Oh, I love that. I love that. Kinks, you never know. You, n- you never know what kinks you have, man. So, uh, and also, like, no shame, to no, no kink shaming here, because you like what you like. 
you know. Mm, yeah, yeah. Mm. If you like chinelas, to, if you like getting palod with the chinelas as a kink, then power to you, man. How it's <laughs> you? If you like getting like hit with a wallace ding ding, power to you, man. How it's you? How it's you? How it's you? Ding ding. Live your life. That's Jokoi's bit with his kid calling yeah, his ding ding ding. ding. <laughs> you want to yeah, one of his first specials. Yeah. All right, ding Don. Ding. Let's get some trivia going. We got the fun facts. Fun facts of trivia. the week. Yeah. The fun, fun facts, facts of, of the week. The week. I, I reckon we're gonna hate this session because I'm pretty sure. So the last week we had all answers correct. Mm. I'm pretty sure Don oh, stepped it up this hand. time, <laughs> and by the end of the session, we're gonna be like, "Yeah, it's a shit fucking <laughs> shit, shit game." Sigmund's <laughs> shit. Well, I've got. Uh, uh, I like this, trivia though. <laughs> this time, this time, so the fun facts. I've tried to make it theme based. Mm. Um, this okay. this week the theme is music in movies and television. Mm. Oh, yeah. I like it. All the music yeah. in movies TV and television. Television. <laughs> I love our little jingles. <laughs> jingles. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Some of them might be difficult, but um, again, the work together as a team, discuss, and uh, yeah, we'll 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 answer. So we're team. It's always team. We're always yeah, a team, for sure. Right? Yeah, and all the listeners out there, if you want to, you know, try to try to guess as Come well. Come join us. Join, join us. Team. Question one. Question one. The film Black Panther what? features a Sen- Senegalese drum soloist by the name of Masamba Diop. He's uh, featured throughout the film. What is the name of the drum that you can hear throughout the movie and the original soundtrack? Is it bongo? A, is it a? Oh, sorry. A djembe, sorry. Which is a like a big hand drum. Yeah. A tama or a talking drum, or is it a mixture of congos and bongos? Which of those three? A mixture is? of congos Shit, and bongos. Third one. Right, third one is the longer one. The longer answer. Right? The longer answer would. Yeah. Two strategically, two strategically it would answers. be the thir- strategically the third one. Like he, you know, he so wouldn't go with that much thought for to con- just say For that. context, it is the sound. That's the that's the sound. Of okay, it. that's definitely not congos or bongos. Is that the talking one then? So it's the it's the yeah, it's got it's got to be the talking one. The second one. one. B. Right. Number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. So we're going with the Tama or talking drum? Yeah, B for yeah. Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. It is it the is Tama. Tama, right? Ta- Tama. Because Tama. It's the talking yeah. one. It's the Tama, Tama answer. It is the talking drum. Yeah, bro. It, it, they, they call it the talking drum because it sounds like it's like it changes pitch when, mm. when it's when they're playing it. Um, fun fact. That's, that's dope. Fun fact about the that um, the the producer of the soundtrack Ludwig Göransson and the director Ryan Coogler actually both went to UC, USC, which is the uh, University of South Car- uh, California, hey, yeah. and they worked on films like uh, Fruitvale Station and Creed before collaborating on Black Panther. Hey. Wow. Mm. Okay. 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 Um, this might this one might be a difficult one if you haven't watched any of these films, but rapper 50 Cent has not only starred in movies and television, but he's also written and directed and produced film and TV. He's produced and starred in the drama series Power. Mm-hmm. What is the name of the character that he plays? Is it Kanan Easy. Stark? Is it Keenan Kell? Or is it Tony Stark? Which of those it's the three? The first one. Yeah, Kane. Because exactly Keenan Kell is yeah. the, other, the yeah. comedy dude Nick- Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first one. Did he say Kanan Stark? I didn't know he had a surname. Kanan Stark. I thought it was just Kanan. So it must oh, be the first go. one then. Yeah, there you go. No, it is definitely it's definitely Kanan. I yeah. just didn't know there was a surname, but I was waiting if there was another Kanan, but yeah. there's none, so it must be that. It has to be A. Are we going with A? Yeah, that is correct. It, it is yeah. Kanan. Ah. Kanan Stark. Um, yeah. Fun fact as well. He's a, he, he's a dope character in that man. Yeah. I love that show. He makes he makes for it's a good villain, again. and I think that's a really interesting show because the like the main characters, the the like the the main character Ghost, mm. really really intelligent mm. dude, and um, the way he tries to kind of. Um, there's another He's a sophisticated yeah, criminal man. Yeah, sophisticated criminal. There's another show that's like that on Netflix called Ozark. Yes. I, uh, I need to get into I that. Give that time, eh? Really good. Mm. The last uh, fourth that. season just came out too. Yeah, I started watching it again. Uh, it's so intense. Hey, man. Can I, I got to take a can, break. Can I go back? Yeah, yeah. Ozark, yeah. Now I was going to go back to the 50 Cent thing, right? You know the character Kanan? Yeah. This is, this is just a fun fact for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um he he actually he's there was a, almost like a, a, a passive um, thing that he had because in the show, K- Kanan kills his son, but apparently it's like a metaphor for his real son, Marquis, because like he literally disowned his son. Damn. And it, it's like, it's so savage because like in the show, 
fifth. He didn't really kill his son, but he's got beef with his son Marquis, which is the, his first kid, oh, which was in his first videos okay. that looks like him. But anyway, as a stab, because you know how petty Fifty is. Yeah. He he painted and like did that episode. Like it was like you're not my son. Like. I can't, yeah, you're too weak to be my son. Bang, like wow. shoots him and stuff on show. And I'm like, man, this guy's savage. <laughs> so 50's character is very like, he's not even acting. It's like obviously exaggerated. He's not out there killing people. Mm. But the guy is like, this is Based just, it's just 50. Like, yeah. you know, 50, he's a, he's, he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. So he's, 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 he doesn't need to act to be that character. He's just playing himself as uh, if he was a criminal, like still in that sense. <laughs> but it was pretty Crazy. savage, like. Passive wise. I didn't know Imagine about that. the son like, thing, man. Imagine mm. being able to yeah. say 50 Cent is my dad, but he fucking hates me. You know oh, what I mean? Like, hates him. That's fucked up. It's not a. He's, he's, he's he metaphorically a killed me on his show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He <laughs> metaphorically <laughs> killed, killed him. Bro. <laughs> he metaphorically killed his son. <laughs> Savage. That's tough, man. Next Anyways. question. Next question. <laughs> Um, many artists have featured on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air TV show. Mm -hmm. In one episode, okay. Carl Carlton rents out their house to allow Bel Biv DeVoe to shoot a music video. What is oh, the name of the song this. that they're filming for? Poison, oh, I can't remember. Gangster, or Word no, to I Mother? Know. Word to the, the only mother. thing I know Shit. from them is Word to Poison. Mother sounds the third one. This is a oh, difficult okay. one because they don't actually sing the chorus in the in the episode. Mm. But the the oh. can I Google it real quick? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but that's Nats's job. Come on, Nats. Yeah. Come on, come on, come yes, on. Right, I'm yes. not hearing this keyboard. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just give it a give it a whirl. Nah, I'm gonna cheap, say C to words mother. I don't even know all of their songs. I, I was thinking, I was thinking that it sounds thinking like poison? a song. Poison is their most famous oh. one, but I don't know any it's of their other ones. It could be a question. It could be Don being tricky. Don being tricky. Well, I'll give you a clue. The, the first the lyrics that they say in the show is like no one even knows it girl to me you just can't show it and then they get interrupted every poison. single time is that poison yeah let's go with oh, that I don't know, I don't know but it's their most famous one <clears throat> let's go let's give him let's go with a that. win let's give Don a win right. unfortunately it is not poison it is actually gangster oh, it was oh, 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 it's fine we would have lost anyway it's fine we're okay with this we're okay with losing we all lose, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact about Belle Biv DeVoe, it's actually, they, that, that band was actually made up of some of the artists from- I'm just laughing at the fact that we're okay, we're okay yeah. of losing. Oh, oh no, that's cool, we lost good. anyway. We, we, lost <laughs> we can't point the way, so lose. You, are, you guys are right, uh, Poison is one of their most favorite, uh, famous songs. Oh, see, see, yeah, they're, um, see. They're, they're, <laughs> Belle Biv DeVoe was actually made up of some artists from New Edition. New Edition was maturing mm. and they wanted to branch out with their music. Mm. Uh, Bobby Brown was and Johnny Gill was doing their own. They wanted to do their own stuff, the solo stuff. Heroin. So, so Baby <laughs> D. <laughs> so they branched off. They baby teamed D. up with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. And their e. album, Poison, is uh, was said to have pioneered the genre New Jack Swing. Oh, that whole okay. genre. Because before that, it was old Jack Swing. <laughs> yeah, it was Jack Swing. <laughs> Just the Jack Swing. This Jack Swing is new, bro. <laughs> That's a newer version oh, of the man. Jack Swing. Uh, swing. <laughs> All right. So this one, this one. Uh, oh, there's another one. This, so oh, yeah. so uh, I've got two more questions. Two more questions. Two more questions. Hey. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Fire. Here well, we got go. three points so far, right? Three points out of hey, five. Good on us. Good on us. Oh, no, wait. We got that last one wrong. Yeah. Also, I means we got two two points. Okay, out okay. Of five. Cool, cool. All right, All right, if we so get this, we win. Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Best out of five. There's there's a few of these, so it's either true or false. So that here is the question: Led Zeppelin are notorious for denying their songs to be used in films. I'll name a film, and you tell me if their song was titled "Immigrant Song" was used in the movie. So I'll, na I'll name the film, and you tell me if it's true or false that "Immigrant Song" was used in it. Okay. And yeah, "Immigrant Song" is okay. the one that goes. Ah! Is oh, that one. That one. Yeah, Thor, yeah. Yeah. Thor is okay. one of them. Okay, so Wayne's World, true or false, was immigrant song in that movie? Yes. As a team. Uh, yeah, well, Garcia said yes really quickly, so I believe him. And I just seemed yeah, like a movie that, that would have it. 
All right, go, go, Garcia. This is all. This is all. You, you better bro. be right, bro. Fuck. You better, yeah, I swear, you better be right, bro. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's false. Bro, you, oh, Garcia, you had world. Yeah, you had the team. Come on, bro. What the hell was that, man? The first Wayne's World Sorry. does not feature <laughs> "Immigrant Song" by Led Zeppelin, but they do. Fun fact: they do perform a large portion of Bohemian Rhapsody, Rhapsody in, yeah, the, the, in that in film. In the intro, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they recently did a, a Wayne's World reunion, uh, I think it was last year, and Brian May, the, the, the lead guitarist from Queen, actually said that Mike Myers gave them a VHS tape to show Freddie Mercury not long before he passed the, that scene, and he said that Freddie Mercury loved it. It was just like, uh, like you know, laughing at the whole scene. And he yeah. He said he loved it, so... I thought that was a really cool fun fact. Apparently, when when so when Bohemian Rhapsody came out, it wasn't as big yeah. as, you know. But yep. until until Wayne's World, World did that yeah. thing, and then oh wow! Imagine like you, you know when Prince made the 1999 like party like it's mm. 1999. Yeah, he made that shit when he came out. It wasn't that big of a, a song, but in 1999, he that's when his been, fucking yeah. royalties so, skyrocketed. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Like Mariah okay. and Christmas. Yeah. And Just keeps coming back around. Smart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, second movie, yeah. School of Rock. True or false? Oh, Immigrant song is in that one. I didn't go, Garcia. Oh, this is your man, time to redeem yourself. You, I kind of, 50, 50. I can hear Jack Black singing it, but I don't know if I'm they... gonna say false. <laughs> just say false, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, go with true go with just to have another side to the. Oh, we're a team. We got to We got All right, we'll go true. We'll go true. Okay, true. The answer is true. Jack Black. And fun fact: Jack Black actually got. Um, <laughs> what what they did nice. was they got a thousand people together and begged the band can stay to be able to use the song, right. and they allowed them to use it because they they you know they and they that's how you do it. Together. Just get a thousand people together. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know a thousand people. And this one you already said this, uh, Raf. This film, uh, Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, is that true or false? Definitely in it. True. Big true. It Couple is true. Letters, bro. Taika Waititi made a sizzle reel which had that's that song big, in the background music. Yeah, uh, it, he said that it fit the story perfectly because it has uh, like, you know, Norse mythology themes, but it also talks about oh, that's uh, scene alone, immigrants, man. like people immigrating from their homes. The, stuff, the scene like that. that that was used, right? That was when, you know, when the wolf was, they're in that long bridge and mm. then um, Thor actually does the lightning strike and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think that was a missed opportunity. I mean, this song is good to be in that scene, mm. but the ACDC thunder. The yeah, da, 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 da. I reckon that would have been Either way, would have been good. Even Enya, that would have been even better. <laughs> Kenny G. <laughs> Kenny G. Songbird. Ken, Kenny Loggins. <laughs> Fly to the danger zone. I reckon the scene is so good that any song could fit it. Mm. Uh, Pony. Pony. <laughs> <laughs> Island Boy. Nah, fuck uh, that. Island Boy. <laughs> All right, final question, and this is a, a this should be a fairly easy one. So did we win that question because we got a couple wrong and a couple right? Well, I'll, I'll give you points for it. Yeah, yeah we got two out of three. Two out of three. Out of three. Nice. Yeah. Now we got three out of five. <laughs> he's so competitive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he's not having triplets because the one up next, bro. <laughs> final question. Final question. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, this is a fairly easy one. O'Shea uh, Jackson Jr. is the son of which iconic hip hop artist? Cube. Ice Cube. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's easy. Easy, bro. <laughs> That's Mr. Jackson's kid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Miss Jackson. Hey, wait, Ice Cube's name is O'Shea Jackson as well, right? Yeah. Pretty sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is go. correct. I was going to read out Dr. Dre, Easy E, or Ice Cube, and the answer is. Oh, Ice even the, Ice even Cube. the, the alternates are like, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Easy, um, bro. And easy. the fun fact that I was going to say for that is um, O'Shea Jackson Jr. actually portrayed his dad in. The uh, biographical yeah. film for Straight NWL. Out of Straight yeah, yeah. out of comfort. Yeah, he did. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's and right. That's I can concur. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> and that's like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yep, yep, that's right. That's yep. right. Yep. And that's, that's right. Facts of the week. Very nice. For <laughs> real. Sorry, I got lost in that. Wow, 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 and then let's just delve into it a little bit and then go, oh, but to, I found to out, listen to more. So I found out yeah, recently. No, but um, no, 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 no let's, let's leave it for the Patreon. If you're going to leave it on Patreon, I want to have fresh content <laughs> for no, it. No, no, I just, I just want to mention it. And then if you want to listen to it. It's like a teaser. It, if you want to listen okay, to it, yeah, talk yeah. about it. It's like in Marvel where they tease give you at the don't end tease credits. us. The tease mm -hmm. is, uh, I found out recently that somebody that I know is dating a porn star. 
Oh. And, uh, that you know? That I know, yes. That I know, personally. And then we stop it there. Let's stop Listen, that. that's, <laughs> it, that's it. Stop it that's there. It. Is there anything I, else? Because I really, I want to talk Patreon about this. <laughs> this is, this is, I want to pay for a Patreon just we'll, to listen to it so again. I got so many questions. We'll talk about it on the Patreon. I got so many freaking questions we'll about, about, about that. On the anyway, Patreon. let's move on. Yeah. Let's, let's right, move cool, on. Cool. <laughs> Filipino content. All right. All right. Let's move on to real shit. I just found out my friend is Filipino. He is dating. He's dating. Dating a Filipino. Another Filipino. <laughs> Filipino. <laughs> Dating a Filipino wow. post, though. Oh, um, man, that's interesting. Wait, is it open now? Yeah, like, let's do whatever? it. Let's what do is, it. Yeah. All right. So I, I wanted to bring this up. It's like last week um, or the past month, both of you guys had your birthdays, right? Mm. Hey, January and, uh, babies are the best babies. Yeah. January babies. <laughs> Here we go. And um, and last week I was like the. Uh, the wild thought was going to be like me talking about a cheat code is nursing home. Like where um, <laughs> all of the toilets are going to have bidets instead of bathtubs. Hey. No, actually, Nat's one is going to have a bathtub and everyone else is going to have a bidet. Um, but it's kind of like a little getaway from family and stuff, you know, because uh, I think for our generation, it's a bit different. Like... Um, Normally, like in the Filipino country, we don't really fuck with nursing homes, right? Mm. Mm. Families like they no. stay with us until yeah. still it's always family, family. Yeah, you're yeah, looking family. after your elders type yep. shit. But yeah. do you reckon that's something that's going to be changing? So, um, would you like to be taken care of by your kids, or do you reckon you'd be like, "Fuck, I need some time to myself now," and uh, l- let me chill uh, at a nursing home with my mates rather than I feel like I should be in a nursing home I'm not now but like when I'm older yeah <laughs> <laughs> of I don't want my kids taking care of me like I want them to live their life because there's right. a lots of light, life mm. to live like there's a lot of opportunity here and if I'm gonna be one of those people who becomes a burden and stuff yeah. like take me to the nursing home right and I've yeah. seen nursing homes here like some of them are like you know it's, they're pretty fun. See, that's like, you know, the thing that I'm thinking fun. of. I'll, I'll, I'll play bingo. Bro, the cheat Please. code is one's gonna ha- it's gonna be dope. It's gonna like PlayStation Twelves everywhere. Yeah, yeah. By then, nice. And um, it's gonna be catered by Jollibee because I'm, I'm really hoping that by the time we reach our retirement age, <laughs> Jollibee's gonna be in Sydney. Hundred percent. I doubt it. I still have doubts of Jollibee <laughs> coming to Sydney. They've been everywhere in the world. For some reason, they won't come to Australia. Yeah, they're like not my dying wish or my death. And, I, and they'll be like. Oh, the logistics aren't there. And then I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat a Jolly Bee chicken. It's gonna be so hyped. I'm gonna be eating it. And then my last word will be disappointed. Disappointed. <laughs> this red, you saving this it red for that time. The hype is too 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 real for me. You know. Oh, disappointed. Man. Chicken joy. No way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Like, cause um, we're kind of in this unique middle ground, right? Mm. Of that change. Yeah. Like, there's that shift. Because um, we're, like, I don't want to be taken care of by my kids or my future kids. Because, yeah. um, again, the like, life. the burden yeah. thing. and mm. yeah. um, But at the same time, I've got parents and they, they're they still in that thing of, like, there's no way they're going to be in a, in a nursing home mm. and stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Which is like a, yeah. I think maybe it's like the eldest of the family again. Like, he's the person that obviously will be looking after the, mm. the parents type yeah. shit. So... I think, I think for it could all be of us, a hybrid, it's like that, right? Yeah. I think it's hard. I think there's, it's a hybrid thing because it is also in our culture. We like to be close with family. Because yeah. mm-hmm. I know like sometimes when we move out of home, we like to be close to home and what. But like just, just to add to that as well, I do I do agree. I reckon there should be something like that in a serious note, like a, a, a center for people to go to and make it actually nice to live in as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think like my, my th- this actually aligns perfectly because my mom's business was inspired purely mm. by this because you know our, our grandpa um big family and the, you know the siblings were taking care of him but at, at, at the end like my mom was the main one the main carer he was living with us and it, that sort of inspired my mom's idea and her business is in aged care as well right and a lot of it is just like you know it's almost like almost like babysitting but they, they have activities so you get the best of both mm. like you know most of the time the clients are like grandparents that because kids were very involved these days like life is full on right um and when we can't, sometimes if we have kids and we don't have the resources, that's why you get daycare and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's, it's filling that gap for the older people too. And yeah, my mom was doing that for my grandpa before he passed away. And now that's her main, you know, business as well. It's pretty sick. Mm-hmm. What they do, it's yeah, a lot to it, do. Love it, love it, totally. It's good. 
<laughs> Good to plug you. And you it based plug on the Filipino well. thing because we're very care, caring and service type right. people, you know? Yeah, what's yeah. the what's your mom's business? The values. El Pinoy Care Services. Hey. Out. It's Filipino, by the way, yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. So, fellow care workers, you know? Yeah, man. Activities for the old folks. That's awesome. With um, my Lola's kind of generation, I remember it was it was a thing like to it's like saying your kids are like your wealth mainly because yeah, of the literally is. Like that's why your, they have so many kids yeah when you reach that retirement age you've got um a lot of kids that will be able to support you mm. um but exactly at the same time that was an age when things like superannuation wasn't around so like like say for me like i'm building towards my retirement so that I don't have to so like the whole caring for our elderly it's also a financial thing rather than just you know being like humanly caring because mm. obviously back then in fills there's no um retirement like retirement fund. plans and stuff um none your wealth is actually your kids cause exactly you many who's yeah. gonna take care of you you by yourself yeah and for the different, american, different, different times different places um the american um, listeners like our superannuation here is like a 401k I think that's what you guys call it over there mm. um, retirement but fund. we do have uh, like that's like a legal thing now like to have over here right you need to have it yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yeah I never saw myself as like growing up that I would have to be taken care of or just like talking real I ne- like before I never really saw myself getting old but now that I do it's like I'm I've made certain adjustments to like say my superannuation and stuff so yeah. just like preparing more for yeah. it yeah. it's like making moves for like my future self to thank me for like you know what I mean? yeah, hell yeah um but yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't see myself as um mainly for the same reason as well like I don't want to be a burden to my kids mm. and that um I'd still enjoy their you know their company their presence and stuff and like have me around as much as they they can but I don't want to be taken care of, you know. I want like a, I want yeah, to be exactly. enjoyed rather than be a chore, you know. Exactly. So um, yeah, man, That's it's it, kind of like a little, like a merge um, from the old ways to the new ways. Because I know my parents are still like that old school. Like we are, like I, both my my grandparents lived with us up until the end, you know. So um, yeah, it's like I just figured like. Um, I thought I'd bring it up because Don turned sixty this year. Sixty five. Yeah, you almost 65. you almost your retirement so, age, bro. Five more years. You can take your super out now too, man. That's <laughs> I think this is the, this is the first year that I felt like old. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. This is the first year that I felt old. Don's going through a midlife crisis. He like the other day on our group chat, he sent us a picture of like red shorts. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, I can still rock this, guys. Like, right? I can know, still rock this. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's no no coincidence that his birthday was recent as well. <laughs> I feel like he's going through some midlife crisis. Oh, they were on right. sale too. He was on sale. sale. <laughs> it was like he was trying to get us involved as well. It was like Cal you know what? Clients. It's on sale. I could save twenty percent if I bore Bro, by four of them. All of us. <laughs> all of us. They were CK branded too, man. Yeah, yeah. trendy as hell. <laughs> There's a percentage off if I go multiple of them, man. <laughs> All four of us could be wearing. We're rocking the, those red shorts. He really wants us to Should wear we get right? some, c- some cheat code as red shorts. <laughs> some <laughs> nice board shorts. Like, uh, yeah, people like buy fucking cars and like go on a shopping spree. This guy just In a midlife crisis? In a midlife yeah. crisis. But this guy <laughs> red shorts. takes it back to when I he was a, like. need to show them calves, bro. <laughs> yes. Cowboy boots or some shit. He wants us to be Baywashed for some reason. Baywashed. Yeah. <laughs> Hasselhoff. I just, I'm just gonna like reappropriate the CK, uh, the CK uh, logo, and just made it CC. The, the cheat coders, <laughs> cheat coders, but with a K. <laughs> the CK, cheat coders. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but yeah, That's this is funny. the first year that I felt like old. old. Like, uh, why your body is well, what, feeling what old? What makes you feel? What makes you feel old? Why exactly? Because like old? for the. Uh, you got your pension like, is because you're literally yeah. old, or <laughs> just like just got, yeah. in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> finally off my, uh, finally off my my pen license. No, no, uh, no. Um, it was uh, for the for the longest time. Everybody kind of uh, say says that I look young from from my age. Yeah, right. And then they, yeah. uh, some of my <laughs> students, they were actually like they they were like, oh, they thought I was like mid twenties and stuff. I'm like, man, that's cute. Yeah. yeah, that's cute. And when I actually yeah. said what my age was, they were like, "What the fuck?" They was just like really shocked. You know that 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 scene where 
uh, Don Cheadle and um, and uh, Kevin Hart are talking. And oh, then yeah. Don Cheadle goes, man, like, you know, I'm, I'm 50. And then, damn. damn. <laughs> yeah. and then Kevin Hart just, damn. <laughs> and it just seems so offensive. That's what I felt like to me. I'm like, wow. Damn. <laughs> You gotta That's enjoy it, bro. You gotta enjoy it when people th- think that you're younger than what you are, because there's gonna come to a life, there's gonna be a point in your life where you're gonna say your age, and that is the end of the topic. Mm. They won't say anything else. You'd be like, "I'm, bad. I'm, I'm 55," and they're gonna be like, "Cool." They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna say that like, you're, that yeah, you, you look are. younger, and they're not gonna say that you, um, you're, you, you look young for your age, all that stuff, mm. because it's gonna come to a point where the Filipino gene of the the Asian gene will make you look young, and then it's gonna get yeah. to that point It'll where flip. you're just gonna and look flip old. Flip a switch on you, bro. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, enjoy no, it's, it's it, bro. You look sudden. young, bro. It's, very, Thanks, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sudden dip too. You yeah, just man. T- you look nine hundred. You look like Mr. Miyagi. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you noticed just, that? Like <laughs> all 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 the Filipinos that are elderly, they all look the same. Yeah. Like, once yep. you hit like 50, all the titas look the same, all the titos look Short the hair, same. Glasses. Yeah, you just form into the stereotype. I slowly. <laughs> I still want to be like, <laughs> when I'm older, I still want to be the old dude, like outlifting all the young guys in the gym. Like that's 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 what I, that's what I want to be. <laughs> I'm picturing Don now as the old can that's still doing crap and he's like a Miyagi. He's teaching people <laughs> fucking karate moves and shit. Wax on, wax off. He has nothing to do with Krav Maga. Yeah. I just want you to clean my car. He's got <laughs> Chanel. He's just doing this. So just enjoy your life, man. Enjoy everyone oh, saying man. that you're that you're younger than you look or like you look younger than your age, you know. But it's just also like it's also like I, I don't recover from <laughs> say I had a couple of drinks with, with some mates um, yeah. last night. And I woke up and I felt pretty ordinary. Just like, just, you know, just, it wasn't too many drinks, but mm. I was like, oh man. <laughs> uh, gone to the days where you could have a massive bender of a night and then wake up and be like, yeah, you feel good still. I'm, re- I'm ready to, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to like, you know, take on the world. You need away. longer to recover. Yeah. I'm just still, I'm still picturing Don as a Miyagi <laughs> and it's going, fly or no fly. <laughs> 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 no chopsticks, obviously, because we're Filipino, but. <laughs> Come my hand. Instead, instead he's just holding his like his arms, sleeve or no sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> you have to guess if he's wearing sleeves or not. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Miyagi, talk like this. It's funny we were talking about the you were talking about the the the, the um the white hairs mm-hmm. earlier, like pulling out the white hairs. Yeah. It's funny because my aunties and my uncles would do that as well. They'd ask. Um, ask like uh, the kids to like pull out their white hairs, yeah, and they would give you five cents for each of the white hairs pulled. But there was also this superstition that if you pulled out a white hair, hmm. five will grow back in its place. So it's so, more money for you. So then. never, yeah, it never made sense <laughs> to me like that. They were like, you want me to pull out your white hairs, but then at the same time, it was a steal. Like I'm like, yeah, oh, I man, think that's what like loggers do, right? Cash cow. <laughs> it's like you when they when they cut down a tree, they have to plant five other ones <laughs> so it's a, bit, it's a bit like that and money so don't grow on trees industry. it grows on your face <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> sustainability is um so to, to all of our young listeners out there if we have any young listeners that could be your first business mm-hmm. just go up to your like aunties or, or, like older aunties and uncles and be like hey i'll pull out your white hairs or my brother used to do this thing where he'd like um try to up sell them yeah he'd be like I'll do it for four seconds. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, he would be like, what if I do it? Like, you know, you don't have that many. So what about 50 cents? Of pay, like, you know? <laughs> and they'd be like, oh yeah, because you're cute. Okay, I'll give it to you. And then eventually, because there'd be more. Like, hey, I see more of those white hairs. Let me pull them out. You know what you should have done? Man? It's like, talk to, say, your aunties. And you go, how much is it per per hair? And you go, like 10 cents or whatever. Yeah. And you go to Ken, you go, hey, um, Ken. Uh, I'll give you five cents if you are here for <laughs> <laughs> for every one that you take off of uh, Tita's head, and then you can you know that's fifty percent margin for outsourcing. Yeah, that's true. Hey, hey, man, and you can have your call center in fills too. Young enterprising <laughs> Filipinos taking uh, orders. <laughs> I just want to know, like, does it does the value of a white hair become more richer if the person is a bald person? <laughs> Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. That's rare, so, so if they're bald, 100%. like naturally bald, it's rare. And then a uh, white hair pops out. Mm-hmm. I reckon that's ten bucks, bro. Oh, for sure, for sure, yeah. bro. Because you rarely get it on your head, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it's there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like pull it out. 
Because it's rare. Yeah. It's like a rare Pokemon. And Where I think, get it? and I think they would want you to pull it out because when you pull out one, then five should grow back in their place, and that's yeah. what they bro, would want. Bro, that's fifty dollars, bro. <laughs> hey, Nats, you know they're talking about market cap right now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the first thing I'm looking. I'm like, dude, 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 dude this is this is. Economics, bro. This, this is, is economics, economics straight up. This is straight up, you know. <laughs> this, this is what I do, bro. This is oh, what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, man. Market cap, that's funny because, you know, the hair's on your head. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 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 it's a Filipino cap. Uh, <laughs> right on there. Uh, no cap. Uh, no, cap. no cap. No cap. No cap. <laughs> Just white hairs. Oh, that's funny, man. That's funny. I usually don't have to answer this, but have you got white uh, pubes yet? I had uh, one. No. I had one before and I thought, this is the end of me. And then I, had I pulled a blonde that. one. It was kind of like, it was kind of like a mixture of brown um. and white. <laughs> I think that might be the start of it, eh? Yeah, I think yeah. my my dick was going super saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just died that one. <laughs> <laughs> just furiously like masturbating and then just goes super saiyan. <laughs> Imagine like it, it's like it looks blonde, mm. and then you, your, your girlfriend or your, your wife will be like, "Who's whose blonde hair is yeah. this?" It's baby, it's mine, I swear. It's mine, baby. Stuck it's on my skin. natural. <laughs> it's mine, baby. <laughs> I grew it. <laughs> I had a one, I had a white um, chest hair before. And you know that superstition is like, you know, you pull that out, there's going to be five more. Yeah. And I was like. Did it? I want, I want more white, hair, like um, chest hair. Yeah. So I kept pulling that shit. It never, it didn't work, man. Yeah. My chest hair is still to, black as mine. Just wanted to look like a silverback gorilla. Just, mm. just pull out all these white hairs and bro. Yeah, you don't need papaya sauce. Uh, so, so papaya soap because, like, you know, people trying to brighten the skin, just brighten your hair. You get, you're gonna have a w- very white chest. Bleach it. I heard Bleach another. It. I heard another superstition, and I'd never heard this until this one particular day that I was having dinner with some of my aunties and uncles. Mm. If you eat papaya, apparently you're not gonna have kids. Why? I have no idea. My auntie said it. And you like know, you mentioned this two episodes ago, bro. Did I? Oh, really? Yeah, you did. <laughs> I <didn't> remember it. <laughs> and, and and I cut it out the episode. And <laughs> the same way I'm gonna do it this episode. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> big, big papaya influencing the thing, man. Oh, that's so. funny. <laughs> that's funny. I was wondering where it went. <laughs> I was wondering where it went. He's trying to bring it back. What a, I'm gonna, that's, that's it. From every episode, I'm going to bring it. <laughs> every episode, I'm going to bring it. Keep bringing it back. You're going to wait for the Patreon to hear all the papaya jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Unedited papaya. Oh, man. going to keep bringing it back until it, until it comes up on the episode. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. That's funny shit. This is the papaya industry is uh, like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get him, get him, get him. We've got him in our books. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's like secretly sponsored by papaya. Yeah. <laughs> gonna let that shit fake go? news. Oh man, that's funny shit. Uh, I, had, I had one. I had one for. I had a talking point. Hey, let's go. Let's that go, let's was go. from a while ago. Uh, apparently, there was an Alexa that was suggesting kids to do the penny challenge, and the penny penny challenge basically was you plug in a charger halfway. To into the like the PowerPoint, mm-hmm. and then you touch a penny to the exposed prongs, and that was like the challenge that the Alexa said to these kids to do. Luckily, these kids were smart enough to go no, mm-hmm. but that like this that this AI for Alexa suggested it. They like really saw it on or heard, like it was on the internet somewhere that people were doing oh. it as a challenge, and that's what it suggested. Alexa suggested it. Yeah, Alexa suggested. But the algorithm it. wasn't like. It didn't create this. That's it was dangerous. just like mimicking whatever other people have been yeah, that was out there, putting yeah. on the internet. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Because that, that's dangerous as fuck. Well, mm. to be honest, it's not really Alexa's fault. It's all the other idiots doing it that yeah. put it up on it's the people internet. people that are abusing the, uh, the technology, right? Yeah. Like any other Dumb platform. Or... Like, have you done that shit? What's an like example not... of something it would tell them to do, though? As a challenge? Has been... Yeah. Clean your room challenge. Uh, this is like talking like <laughs> a dad so already. Why <laughs> 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 don't you try Peterson. washing eat the your, dishes? Uh, eat your vegetables challenge. <laughs> but that actually reminds me um, of something that actually was happening on TikTok. You know how there's hip hop beef, right? Mm-hmm. There were these yes. TikTok uh, stars or people, people on TikTok. They were engineering a beef. It was like a make believe thing where they were against each other. Uh, I think two of the main accounts was Vantalord and Che Durena. And 
Uh, I follow Vance a lot. Yeah. He's a funny cat. He's the he's the one who like pretends that he's ironing. Yeah. And he stands up straight and he talks like. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it's know. like um, he's invited to the cookout. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, kind of yeah. stuff, right? And then Che Dur- Durena, his his tagline is um, "Follow me, motherfuckers," like that okay. that kind of thing. And he was telling, uh, one of his videos was. Uh, how we how guys scratch their balls? They don't really like scratch it. They just kind of pinch the skin and like rub it together. Mm-hmm. And then Vantalord was like, "I'm banning you from the the something because you're telling the men's secrets." Right. And then it turned into this beef where everybody's like, "Oh, it's the rogues versus the Vantalords and blah blah." blah. <laughs> That's pretty they're cool. all trying to get everybody in on it, and they're, they're like teaming up and collaborating with people. Like, oh, I side with the rogues and I side with Vantalord and this and that, um, and. They're trying to get Ryan Reynolds in on it. It's like <laughs> so, the first one to for Ryan Reynolds to say their name, yeah, they win the war of this sort of thing. And I think it's such a, like a a really clever way, not only to generate content, but it's also to get everybody else involved in it because people yeah. who aren't and even, it's not harming anyone too. Yeah, it's a, like a kind of wholesome type. Yeah, I like that shit. I, li- I like those. I like challenges and pranks that doesn't hurt anyone, but it's mm. just funny as fuck. You know, mm. like um. And it's and they're the ones that are hard to think up of, like yeah, because the the ones are like, you know, the the crate challenge that we talked about. It's like a cheap laugh type shit. Oh, he falls down. It's like slapsticky. Mm. Like yeah, well, but then people get exactly up. right. Yeah. Like that's the it's it's a it's a cheap laugh type shit. Mm. But the ones that you know are well thought out. I, l- I like that shit, man. Yeah, I th- I think it's clever because. I like when people kind of are inspired by other content. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, like, yes, there's this that the style with where everybody just kind of does the same thing on TikTok when there's like a trend and everybody just does the same thing. But then, if more content or new content gets generated out of that, like when we when we create something or when we put up a video and then somebody else puts up a video that's inspired by that, or uh, shout outs again to Jumo, uh, you know, doing art inspired by that i think that's the really really cool yeah that's dope that's the really really cool thing <laughs> that's like paying homage that's so yeah that's um, so funny when you know I what saw i can't you know what i can't stand what shit content do yeah. you guys go on facebook these days lately mm. and it'll be these things where like oh it's like it's so obviously fake yeah. Like they almost make it staged. really oh, yeah, yeah. Super staged. staged really staged but yeah. it's like so obvious like yeah. the person's like cooking and then the person's like like doing some crap like they're about to prank them it's like yeah. bad uh, acting yeah. too and then yeah. it's bad acting it looks so cheesy and the video goes for obviously like 20 minutes because views and and so many people watch but it you know it's what? just 12 year olds like lap that shit up you know thinking it's real because they're all adults I don't know if I think because it's Facebook as well and I think just the ridiculousness of it makes people just want to see how crap it is and mm. then it's just like it's all for the bad worst reasons and then mm. But it gets it gets interaction on it's both so ends. Bad. There's uh, people that think it's real, and then like us going like, "Fuck this bullshit." Yeah, like, it's the same we're comments all, as we're well. We're commenting like, this on is fake. it, right? So, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but so much of it, it's so bad. It's so yeah. much. I think it's yeah. It's all just about trying to get the the views, right? Yeah, no matter what, no, you just have to. Get no, that's views, what yeah. it is. That's that's the worst type of content. Yeah, it's just farming for views. It's like there's no nothing because there was no substance you know yeah yeah that's the word substance there was a lot of that stuff that that um it was kind of like uh life hacks or or hacks that they would do right and and say for instance it's um like cleaning your toilet with 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 toothpaste or whatever just as a just a random example yeah right and so we'd show them putting toothpaste in the toilet and then the next scene like it cuts and then it's already like it's completely clean like there's nothing else like it seems like an infomercial Mm. And then you've got now people creating videos or content from the off the back of it that was like, oh, is it is this real or is this not? And then they try it themselves and they're like, yeah, it's not real. Mm. That kind of stuff. Um, that's what I feel like that 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 kind of content, the one you're talking about, where they just like, oh, you know, they, just, they exactly. ham it up and make it very um, clearly clearly fake. Um, that's I, yeah. I, I think that that there's gonna be people definitely making content out of that making fun of it and definitely like hopefully um showing like what like real shit you know yeah i've seen i've come across those channels they um it's almost like they've taken over myth busters because there's no more myth busters yeah there should be a filipino myth busters right like what what kind of myths like if you drop if you drop uh, like a fork or a spoon on the floor 
Do you actually get a visita? <laughs> Somebody has like a tally and yeah. shit. It's like a consensus, right? Like how many times did you drop your fork like this year? Yeah. And um and then how many times did you have a visitor after yeah, dropping yeah, a fork? Yeah. Is it a man or a woman or yeah. a bush? <laughs> or like if you eat papaya, do you actually uh, can you actually have kids? <laughs> I'm gonna have that one out too. At a point. <laughs> At a point. I'm just fire talk, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, one myth that I don't know if it's a myth, but Filipinos do it all the time. My parents do it all the time when they go shopping, and they want to get the waist size, and they put it around their neck. Mm-hmm. That's some bullshit. Mm, that's <laughs> like, real. Isn't it real? I still, real? I still do it though. I still do it too. <laughs> is that know. real? I don't know, bro. I did it recently. <laughs> I got a big neck though. But yeah, then again, like, I got a big waist. So okay. Uh, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. So that means it's like, like it's plausible. <laughs> the bigger the neck, the bigger your waist. Like kind of yeah. thing. Is that it? Like, so if I guess. Yeah, okay, but, but if you work out your neck, right, it's going to be bigger than your waist, wouldn't it? I don't necessarily work out my neck. I'm looking at you because you work out, right? If you got traps, if your bro, neck is, if your yeah, you neck put is like disproportionate uh, fucking, to your fucking jeans around your traps, base. bro, it's gonna be hard to get around in your neck. No, but you're, you're supposed to take the like the the, the pants, the, the rim of the pants, and you put it around your neck, clearly around your neck, not not your traps and stuff, mm. not your shoulders, and. I think I don't know for what the traps are. You want, you want to do okay. myths busters now? Like I'm not going to do it in front of camera. Yeah, don't I'm going to go. Your pants off. Take, <laughs> I'm going to go downstairs. <laughs> I'm going to measure my shorts around my neck and see if it actually goes. Well, let's, <laughs> all right, all right. Let, let, oh. let's, let, let's let's get this myth out here. All right, all right. Well, so the myth is. Let's go. So how do we put around the neck? It has to go all just the way get, around. Get yeah, it's half of your waist. So the the radius of your neck. Like is, sorry, the circumference circumference of your neck. Yep. Is half the circumference of your waist. So yep. when you when you um, put it put your shorts or your pants around your neck, the ends touch. Well, you've yes. you've got a. It's like it's almost like folded, right? Yeah. yeah. Like the, so you you're only getting half of the yeah, the thing, and then yeah, both ends have to touch at the back. They have to touch, and yeah. then that means yeah. it's the right size for you. Right. That's right. It'll be yeah. It'll be sweet. Like it'll be flush. When okay. You put it on. All right. All right. So mm. done. I'm not gonna take off my pants here. I'm not gonna take off my pants. Here. But I really want to know. <laughs> let's have okay. a. Let's I have really want to know if this there. is a real thing because, yeah. like, ever since when I was a kid, I see my pants. My parents do that thing and see my pants. Wait, and Nats can do it for us because we're not. We know we're not seeing his bottoms. Yeah. Yes. True. 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 So you can take your shorts off now and then. Let's I mean, do they're already right. off, but you know. Yeah, well, we're talking <laughs> yeah. about Mythbusters, Myth Mythbuster videos, and all that stuff. Let's do one right now. Let's see if this is true. And that's can you get a pair of shorts in your cupboard that fit you perfectly? Mm-hmm. Can you do that for yep. me? I'll do it right now. Do it right now. I'll get mission right now. Also, do I wear the shorts? No, You're gonna no, no, have no. to put it around your neck. Yeah, yeah, right. And yeah. then, gotcha. But also, a pair of shorts if you have one that is like too big, like what too yeah. wide for you. Anything you that yeah, for our, like you know uh, yeah. measurable <laughs> variables. Yeah, yeah, now, I can do it right now. Yeah, yes, please. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. I really want to know if this thing is true. Thanks, man. I think it's true, bro, because for me, like that's how I've always. I don't believe it. I'm going to be on the other side of the fence, and I don't believe it. I think it's (laughs) true. You can have different sides next than your different sides waist. The thing that um, gets me is um, like the thighs bit. So the the waist bit will be Mm. perfect for me, but because I'm I'm thick like that, (laughs) the thighs can be like tight as fuck because if this thing is true then how are they going to do online shopping <coughs> i think the way they could do it is get a 3d pr- printer or something like that and then <laughs> get a 3d version of the shorts and they could rather than put it on <laughs> they could put it around their neck or no, just give us the measurement <laughs> that'll be like the, measure- way. Yeah, the measurement it'll, it'll it'll be now in instead of like waist size it's neck size neck mm. neck circumference <laughs> so these pants are three necks wide <laughs> so this is three next L, <laughs> three next L, <laughs> double next L for for. Uh, <laughs> oh man, mm. this one is a next next uh, medium. <laughs> next You're not allowed to watch that. That's a triple next film. <laughs> uh, oh, <man>. Next no man. <laughs> next. <laughs> Have you read that comic book, Next Men? <laughs> Oh man! Oh dude! Next one. <laughs> oh, she's no longer my uh, girlfriend. She's my next. <laughs> that's confusing. Hang on. That's confusing. Hang on. That's confusing. <laughs> what? Oh man! Here we go. 
Yeah. You got a you got a pair of shorts that fit you perfectly, Nats? Yeah. I don't have level. a pair that's too big. That's like, okay. I don't keep that's cool. No, no, there's that something big, that's perfect. This, this is this is like you know I got I got I was gonna get like stretchy shorts, but this is better example because it's it can't yeah. stretch, and um like like they fit and I'll need a belt, but they fit me. Okay. All right. You let's know, put this around your neck. Shorts. It has to touch end neck. to end perfectly, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll start here so you guys so you guys can see right, it, see right, it as well. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's very scientific, you know. Like we got to do this right. Okay. Here All right. Go, hold here up. We Wait. Go, here we go. I am. So, yep, yeah. And uh, and hold it for a bit because of the lag. There you go. So that looks Bro, like oh, shit. It's oh, touching see, perfectly. It's real, right? man. I'm not, I'm not gonna think. Of, wow, that's like actually snug and perfect. See, it's plausible. Does it? Does it? Is it really tight? No, it's confirmed. Actually, is it tight on your neck? Yeah. It's it's tight, but it's like fitted tight, right? I'm not like squeezing to try and get it. Like How, I'm just doing it like this. What's the and fit I'm not like, like around your waist? Out. And that's a perfect fit. Like, There's it's, a perfect it's, fit yeah, around it's, your it's, waist. It's, it's, yeah, I can wear it without a belt. Like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I think that's it's confirmed. Fine. All right, all right. I believe Whoa. in it now. I believe in this myth, bro. <laughs> just one. Bro, I don't know. <laughs> just one, one example. I believe it. I believe it, bro. <laughs> Here, the cheat code is you believe in the scientific method, bro. See, see how much content we are running out of. We do not need to get shorts. <laughs> <laughs> around his I'm, neck. I'm putting shorts around. We're running out of content, guys. This is, this is how easy it was to convince, like, Raph. We haven't even seen Nats wear these shorts. Put, Nats, put them like, on. Put them on. <laughs> uh, this content. Well, this we, content we, we is gold. We are we are this struggling, struggling this for content. This, so this, might as well. this segment right here is saving this episode. <laughs> <laughs> put on those oh, shorts. Man. <laughs> <laughs> this heat is getting to us. Uh, getting to us. Is, that, is it a Filipino thing? The whole neck. Um, I mean, that's the shorts it. thing. Do I see? I don't see I've any never, other cultures doing yeah, that. I've, I've never heard, heard any. Of Please, anyone How's out that? there that's a different culture rather than Filipino, do you do the neck thing? The, the neck with neck the measurement. Pants. So Bro, you measure. Look, it's perfect. Man. You measure pants around your neck. See, see, yeah, see it, it fits right. perfectly. I mean, like, it's not. It's not. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I still wear a belt. He measured it around his. He measured around his neck, and then neck minute, it fits him his waist perfectly. <laughs> yeah, and it's actually good. I actually needed shorts. Like, it's good. I'm gonna wear them now. <laughs> <laughs> every every single episode of Chico, as we do, we always make sure that Nats is well dressed and well perfect for the day. If you want to, uh, if you wanna, if you wanna hear some of the like other content that we have, join our Patreon. <laughs> where we'll have some extra content. You gotta, you gotta pay in the future. You gotta pay for this, man. I am putting my shorts for no one. In <laughs> <laughs> We're like the opposite of OnlyFans. We put shit on. <laughs> <laughs> mm, gloves. Mm. <laughs> Two gloves. Ooh, what else do you want around my neck? <laughs> 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 oh man. Oh god. Oh, that's good. Oh that's man. Good. That's that's funny, bro. <laughs> I love that shit. That's uh, that, that actually worked. I was I, I was really gunning for him, not you know that not that myth to be yeah, busted, fear. and it worked. Well, every yeah. every Verified. every time that I've tried that, it's it's worked for me. Yeah. Yeah. So you, I think do you do it's that? Do you do that while shopping? See, I don't really shop myself, but when when people bought, like, sorry, we had Christmas recently, right? Mm. People buy me like um like clothing. So if like yeah, like pants or shorts, yeah, I'll do yeah. that first because it's a gift, you know, like yeah. And I don't want, like, I can't really be bothered to, oh, let me go away and try it on first. Mm. I'll do that neck thing. And if it yeah. doesn't fit, I'll be like, hey, it's a bit too big or too small. I, yeah, because I wanted to buy Garcia a pair of pants. Um, so I waited till he, he was asleep and then I wrapped some pants around his neck. to be like, <laughs> yeah, this is the perfect size. That was the night that I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like I thought someone was choking me. Yeah. And yeah. Sleep well, apnea well, was If you in. think your family member is trying to choke you out, they're not trying to choke <laughs> you out. They're, they're just trying to buy some new pants for some for, for Christmas. <laughs> They're looking after you. <laughs> so, so you like someone just gets a rope and try to <laughs> choke you, <Yeah. laughs> choke him out. Like oh. I'm just seeing red everywhere. It turns out it was Don wanted to buy me red shorts <laughs> so he can get a discount. <laughs> it's like, it's how'd you get in the house? <laughs> if we all get it, then what it's are you 40 doing in my room? Off. Forty percent off. If we all get one. Hunting the the discount. That oh night. man. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Woo. So, Content, uh, but yeah, it's really follow. scraping the scraping the barrel right now. <laughs> <laughs> for our listeners out there, the, the people if you're watching this, for, for our listeners, the, the people watching this, um, we're promoting we're promoting a paid subscription we're promoting content like on, a paid thing. on one of our worst episodes. <laughs> 
I don't know what that out there. Like, uh, I think it's the room, the heat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it's the heat, man. I'm sweating I just think, balls like, here. Today is just not one of those days, man. eh? We're talking about next, but that was really interesting. Oh, now I know. Oh. Now I know what to do when I go shopping. The, so with with the socks as well, you can fit that around your thumb. Apparently that Shut one up. works. No, I'm, just <laughs> 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 I'm just making shit up now. <laughs> Uh, it works man. with condoms. <laughs> you, know, with, uh, <laughs> you, put, <laughs> you put around your pinky. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> it works. It's a perfect fit. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait, they didn't. Yeah. Wait, this is for real. Though, but they did say your your arm right is the size of your foot. Apparently, what the the that, forearm? That was, yeah. The, for, the forearm, like, I don't know where it starts. Like, probably from, like, the joint. Oh, the elbow. Yeah, Apparently, that's your foot. Oh, uh, yeah. Not for real, but. Yes. I mean, like, we haven't verified it yet. Maybe we'll save that for next episode, you know. <laughs> I <laughs> guess. On Patreon. Patreon content. You get to see we'll we'll verify foot. that for you guys on Patreon real quick, you know. You gotta pay for that shit, though. We're not giving all these for everyone who's into, busts yeah, for free. For everyone that has, like, forearm or foot fetishes. <laughs> It's bringing us back to the kink chain. The kink. <laughs> oh, okay I know what we can like do. Kink. Love Alexa. don't cost a thing. What's the Filipino Alexa? What would be what would be the name of the Filipino Alexa? Marites. Rose. Marites. <laughs> Fucking. Marites. <laughs> I'd hate that shit. Man. Marites. <laughs> Fucking hell. You have to go. Marites. Psst, psst, to get its attention. No, no. Yeah, would, psst, wouldn't it just be called? Wake up. <laughs> wake up. Psst. Gising. <laughs> wouldn't it just be called Yaya? Yaya. Yeah, yeah, Psst, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. You'd be going, yeah. You would, I think it's, uh, we launched something and it fucking <laughs> didn't <laughs> fly. Bro. That, was, that was like Apollo, like ten. Uh, yeah. <laughs> didn't go to Apollo, the moon. Apollo thirteen. That one. He launched that. Oh, he just exploded. <laughs> I was like the Wright brothers, the first flight. Oh, oh. <laughs> I hate this room. <laughs> it's so hot. For giving us bad content. Oh, it's like the it's like man. the juju in the room it's just yeah. giving me bad bad vibes. It's the heat, man. It's just ridiculous. It's just it's tiring. It's the heat. Yeah, it's ridiculous. 